First Horse Skinner's Horse The First Horse Skinner's Horse is a regiment of the Armored Corps of the Indian Army. It traces its origins as a cavalry regiment from the times of the East India Company, followed by its service in the British Indian Army and finally, after independence as the fourth oldest and one of the senior cavalry regiments of the Armored Corps of the Indian Army. Formation after the anglo maratha War of 1803, James Skinner Sikander Sahib was dismissed from service by Dalit Rao Sindhya and was recruited by Lord Lake, who asked him to raise a regiment of irregular cavalry or your 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 cavalry On February 23, 1803, the regiment was raised at Hansi. Haryana in the service of the East India Company. The initial contingent consisted of 800 men of Perrin's horse, who were under service of the Sindhi. A second regiment of Indian cavalry was raised by Colonel James Skinner in 1814, which became the third Skinner's horse. On the reduction of the Indian Army in 1922, first and third regiments were amalgamated and became skinner's horse first duke of york's own cavalry and later the first duke of york's own lancers skinner's horse until 1950 following which the regiment took its present designation lineage 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 like many regiments of the indian army the first horse skinner's horse underwent a series of name changes in their history 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 eighteen oh three Captain Skinner's Corps of Irregular Horse eighteen twenty three first Skinner's local horse eighteen forty first Bengal Irregular Cavalry Skinner's Horse 1861 First Regiment of Bengal Cavalry, 1896 First Regiment of Bengal Lancers, 1899 First The Duke of York's Own Regiment of Bengal Lancers, Gull Lancers, Gull Lancers, Gull Lancers, 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 1901 First Duke of York's Own Bengal Lancers Skinner's Horse, 1903 First Duke of York's Own Lancers Skinner's Horse. 1921 First Duke of York's own Skinner's Horse. 1950 First Horse Skinner's Horse, the third Skinner's Horse, also went through similar changes prior to its amalgamation with First Horse. 1814 Raised at Hansi by Lieutenant Colonel James Skinner as Second Corps of Lieutenant Colonel Skinner's Irregular Horse, Euler 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 Horse. 1821 Badley's Frontier Horse, into your 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 horse. 1823 Fourth Regiment of Local Horse. 1844 Bengal Irregular Cavalry. 1861 Third Regiment of Bengal Cavalry, 1901 Third Bengal Cavalry Skinner's Horse, 1903 Third Skinner's Horse, 1921 Amalgamated to First Slash Third Skinner's Horse. Early History After its formation in 1803, the regiment was involved in a number of the campaigns on the Asian subcontinent, notably the Siege of Bharatpur, the First Afghan War the Second Afghan War, the First Sikh War, and the Second Sikh War. In 1842, a detachment of the regiment lost 108 men out of 180 engaged in a clash at Kandahar. The first Skinner's horse remained loyal during the Indian Mutiny of 1857, seeing service in the Ravi River district and distinguishing itself at Chichuatni. It was the first Indian Army regiment sent overseas during the Boxer Rebellion, and participated in the Battle of Peking. During this campaign, the regiment clashed with Tartar cavalry and served alongside United States units, the first occasion where British Indian and U.S. troops served together. World War I, War I, 
War I, War I, eh, War I. The 1st Regiment remained throughout the war in the northwest frontier. The 3rd Regiment was at Meerut when the First World War broke out. The regiment was a part of the 7th Meerut Cavalry Brigade, 2nd Indian Cavalry Division. The brigade received orders to mobilize on 24 October 1914. It sailed from Bombay and reached Marseille's port in France by 15. The regiment was in France till August 1916. It saw extensive action in many parts of France. It was awarded the Battle Honours France and Flanders for its fine performance. It was sent to Mesopotamia as a part of the 7th Meerut Cavalry Brigade headquarters. The regiment was then ordered back to India where it concentrated in Rolpindi in August 1916 for operations in Afghanistan. A detachment of the regiment was tasked to guard the post at Gumbaz and held against the attack by the Maris on 17 February 1918. The regiment won the following gallantry awards. Companion of the Indian Empire, Rizalder Hababur Rahman Khan 1st Regiment, Military Cross, Jamadar Amilal 3rd Regiment, Order of British India, Rizalder Martin Khan, Rizalder Nade Khan, Rizalder Major Mohammed Akam Khan 1st Regiment, Rizalder Major Balwant Singh 3rd Regiment, Indian Order of Merit, Rizalder Faiz Mohammed Khan, Jamadar Mohammed Umar Farak Khan 1st Regiment, Daffadar Lal Singh, Lance Daffadar Kem Singh, Jamadar Indar Singh, Daffadar Jawahir Singh, 3rd Regiment, Indian Distinguished Service Medal, Sawar Nishan Ali, Jamadar Rapnadin, Trumpeter Abdul Majid Khan, Sawar Gila Mohammed Khan, Lance Daffadar Ali Hussain, Jamadar Mohammed Tadi Khan, 1st Regiment, Daffadar Gurdiol Singh, Acting Lance Daffadar Pritam Singh, Sawar C.H. Haja Singh, 3rd Regiment, Indian Meritorious Service Medal, Sawar Sabar, Ali Khan, Sawar Abdul Shakur Khan, Daffadar Hadiyar Khan, Daffadar Ashrafullah Khan, 1st Regiment, Daffadar C.H. Haja Singh, Sawar Pakbar Singh, Daffadar Nand Singh, Lance Daffadar Nahar Singh, 3rd Regiment, Khoi de Guerra French, Daffadar Zar Ali, 3rd Regiment, Bronze Medal of Military Valor Italian, Daffadar Qutek Khan, 3rd Regiment, Crucia Cervical Credenqua Romanian, Soar Pratam Singh 3rd Regiment. Interwar Period After World War I, the cavalry of the British Indian Army was reduced from 39 regiments to 21. On 18 May 1921, the two regiments of Skinner's Horse were amalgamated at Sylcott with the new title of the First Duke of York's own Skinner's Horse. Formerly, the 1st Duke of York's own Lancers had been a class regiment made up entirely of Hindustani Muslim and Muslim troopers, while the 3rd Skinner's Horse had consisted of one squadron each of Jat Sikhs, Jats, Rajputs, and Ranghars Muslim Rajputs. After the amalgamation, the new regiment would only consist of only three squadrons Rajputs, Rangars, and Jats. The Jat Sikh squadron, which had been part of the 3rd Skinner's horse for 72 years, was disbanded. Each of the squadrons was equipped with one Hotchkiss gun and with 303 short magazine Lee and Field rifles. The machine gun troops of the headquarters squadron were equipped with the 303 Vickers machine gun. The traditional cylinder system of most of the cavalry was abolished shortly after World War I and Indian troopers were now provided with government horses rather than having to provide the animals themselves in return for a higher rate. The Skinner's horse accordingly acquired the status of a fully regular regiment of the British Indian Army and received standard government issue equipment for all purposes. World War Roman II, Min II, at the beginning of World War Roman II, the regiment was still mounted, but was quickly converted to act as a mechanized reconnaissance regiment and was attached to the 5th Indian Division, and when the division was sent to the Sudan, formed part of Gazelle Force. During the rest of the war, the regiment was attached variously to the 4th Indian Infantry Division, the British 10th Armored Division, the 3rd Indian Motor Brigade, and the 10th Indian Infantry Division. The regiment fought in East Africa, North Africa, and Italy and was awarded battle honors for Agordat, Curran, Amba Alagi, Licinia, 
the senior Pakistani politician Sardar Shaukat Hayat Khan 1915-1998, who served with Skinner's horse in Sudan slash Africa during the Second World War, has written a brief but memorable account of the regiment's service there in his memoirs, The Nation, that lost its soul Lahore Jang Pubs, 1995. The regiment won the following gallantry awards. Distinguished Service Order DSO, Lieutenant Colonel Ayef Hasa. Military Cross, Captain R.P. Prentice, Lieutenant Re Coker. Indian Order of Merit, Rasalder Mohd Yunus Khan. Indian Distinguished Service Medal, Rasalder Amr Singh. Lance Daffodor Dip Chand, Lance Daffodor Mohd Sharif Khan. Lance Daffodor Bir Khan, Soar Munchi Singh, Soar Raj Singh, Soar Sardar Singh. Mentioned in dispatches, Lieutenant Colonel I.F. Hasek, Lieutenant Colonel T. Scott, Captain H.D. Adams Williams, Lieutenant Re Coker, Rasalder Major Banu Singh, Rasalder Mohammed Yunus Khan, Lance Daffodor Bir Khan, Lance Daffodor Abdul Hakam, Lance Daffodor Munchi Khan, Lance Daffodor Feroz Khan, Lance Daffodor Post-war, the regiment was switched to tanks in 1946, receiving the Stuart tank, and a year later Churchill's. In 1947, with the Indian independence, the regiment became part of the Indian Army Armored Corps. The first Indian commander was Lieutenant Colonel Aram Bailamoria, and the regiment was stationed at Ahmednagar. Post-partition, the Hindustani Muslim and Ranghar squadrons of the Skinner's horse were transferred to the Pakistani Armored Corps in exchange of a Sikh squadron from 19th King George V's own Lancers. The present regimental composition is of Jats, Rajputs and Sikhs. Hyderabad Police action the regiment took part in the annexation of Hyderabad in 1948, following which it stopped the use of Stuart tanks. The Churchill tank remained in use until 1957, after which the regiment was equipped with Sherman MK Roman fours. Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 In 1965, equipped with Sherman tanks, the units B squadron supported 50th Parachute Brigade near Dagrai and two troops helped three jet in the epic Battle of Dagrai. The regiment won the following gallantry medals. For Chakra, Captain Vikram Duskar. Sina Medal, Soar Nafu Lal, Daffodar Rup Singh, Lance Daffodar Gurdial Singh. Eight years later, in 1965, the regiment converted to the T-54 and then to the T-55. Indo-Pakistani War of 1971, the regiment with its T-55 tanks was part of the two independent armored brigade under 39 Infantry Division. It took part in operations initially in Samba, and then in Shakurgar sector. It helped one Dagra in capturing Harar Kalan. The regiment won the following gallantry awards. Sina Medal, Daffodar Rup Singh, Lance Daffodar Gurdial Singh. Mentioned in dispatches, 2nd Lieutenant Vyander Kumar Jetli, 2nd Lieutenant Akulur, 2nd Lieutenant Bupinder Singh Mandare, Rizalder Ban Singh in 1979. The regiment converted to the Timonist 72 tanks. In 2003, a special service was held at the St. James Church, Delhi, which was built by James Skinner to commemorate the bicentenary of the regiment. Uniforms The old First Lancers wore yellow uniforms uniquely in the British Empire, and the old Third wore dark blue. The yellow was actually close to mustard in shade but led to the regiment being nicknamed Canaries or Yellow Boys from its formation. Each regiment had the full dress mounted long kurta worn with a turban and cummerbund for all ranks, also a full dress dismounted or levy, dress for British officers only. These were not in general use after 1914, but could still be worn by officers on special assignments e.g. as an aide-de-camp or while attending court functions. The merged Skinner's horse was assigned a dark blue full dress with yellow facings in 1922, but by 1931 the historic yellow and black had been restored. The yellow mess jacket and black waistcoat of the old 1st Bengal Lancers was adopted by the 1922 Regiment of Skinner's Horse and was the cold-weather mess dress until 1939. 
All six of these various uniforms are in the collection of the National Army Museum. The cap badge of the regiment prior to independence consisted of a central rose over crossed lances with a crown between the lance heads. A scroll below bears the inscription, Himat I Martin Madet I Cuden I Cuden. The present cap badge replaced the crown by a horse mounted by a cavalryman. Battle and Theatre Honors Urpur, Ghazni, 1839, Kalat, Afghanistan, 1839, Kandahar, 1842, Maharajpur, Mudki, Ferocia, Alul, Kandahar, 1880, Afghanistan, 1879, minus 1880, Punjab frontier, Pekin, 1900, France and Flanders, 1914, minus 6. The regiment was awarded with the Gaidan on 31 March 1971 at Babina by the then President V. V. Giri. Notable personnel General Sir Crawford Trotter Chamberlain, GSI, CSIA, 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 General Sir William, or for Kavanaugh KCSI, Lieutenant General G. S. Gruel, PVSM, General Officer Commanding in Chief, Western Command, Lieutenant General Rakish Kumar, Lumba PVSM, Absom, General Officer Commanding Roman III Corps, Director General of Military Intelligence, Lieutenant General Praveen Bakshi PVSM, Absom, VSM, Act 25th General Officer Commanding in Chief Eastern Command, Lieutenant General P.S. Meta Absom, VSM, General Officer Commanding Roman XXI Corps. Affiliate Regiments <laughs> United Kingdom Light Dragoons, the affiliation of the regiment with Light Dragoons dates back to 1842, when the two regiments fought in the Afghan War together.